SpaceX is one of the most advanced, rapidly growing, and most dominating companies in rocket launches. It has launched many rockets and also has tested many Starship prototype rockets. Although the number of successful launches was less, the company's performance and capabilities of iteration have made them dominate the space race. In today's episode, we will have a look at SpaceX's dominance and figure out why it has been a major cause for the humiliation of other space companies. Stay tuned. The billionaire space race is only a race by name. In actuality, there is SpaceX and everyone else. Relativity Space is building the world's first 3D printed rocket and plans to build rockets on Mars with robots. Virgin Orbit is putting satellites into orbit by launching a rocket from beneath the wing of a jumbo jet. Its sister company, Virgin Galactic, is flying people to the edge of space from an air-launched space plane. Rocket Lab has developed the first rocket engine fed by an electric pump and is trying to catch it out of the air with a net connected to a helicopter. However, no other space company is dominating more than SpaceX. No one has visited the moon since 1972, but with the advent of commercial human spaceflight, the urge to return is resurgent and generating a new space race. NASA has selected the private company SpaceX to be part of its commercial spaceflight operations, but the firm is also pursuing its space exploration agenda. To enable flights to the moon and beyond, both NASA and SpaceX are developing new heavy lift rockets, SpaceX's Starship and NASA's Space Launch System. But how do they differ and which one is more powerful? It is safe to say that both companies are superior. The large fund that SpaceX receives from the US government for various projects is helping the company to position itself as a leader in the space launch business. But let's not jump to the conclusion that NASA is more superior than SpaceX because the latter has the capabilities to deliver some surprises too. The Space Launch System, SLS, from NASA will be taking the crown from the discontinued Saturn V as the most powerful rocket the agency has ever used. The current incarnation, SLS Block 1, stands at almost 100 meters tall. The SLS core stage is powered by four RS-25 engines, three of which were used on the previous space shuttle. It is augmented by two solid-state rocket boosters attached to its sides, providing a total combined thrust of 8.2 million pounds at launch, about 5% more than the Saturn V at launch. SpaceX's launch system is comprised of two stages, Super Heavy and the Starship. SpaceX's Starship is designed to operate both in the vacuum of space and within the atmospheres of Earth and Mars, using small movable wings to glide to the desired landing zone. The rocket will provide 15 million pounds of thrust at launch, which is approximately twice as much as the rockets of the Apollo era. Atop the launcher sits the Starship, itself powered by another six Raptor engines and equipped with a large mission bay for accommodating satellites and compartments for up to 100 crew and even extra fuel tanks for refueling in space, which is critical to long-duration interplanetary human spaceflight. Once over the landing area, the Starship flips into a vertical position and uses its onboard Raptor engines to make a powered descent and landing. It will have sufficient thrust to lift itself off the surface of Mars or the Moon, overcoming the weaker gravity of these worlds, and return to Earth, again making a powered soft landing. The Starship and Super Heavy are both refuelable, and the entire system is designed to lift more than 100 tons of payload to the surface of Mars. Ultimately, it is a competition between an agency that has had years of testing and experience, but is limited by a fluctuating taxpayer budget and administration policy changes, and a company relatively new to the game, but which has already launched 109 Falcon 9 rockets with a 98% success rate and has dedicated long-term cash flow. And then there's Blue Origin, which dominated world headlines for days this week with its launch of the Star Trek actor William Shatner, briefly into space. There is no doubt that Bezos has plenty of vision. The question is, why can't the second richest man in the world execute on it? Over the past few years, Blue Origin's master plan has begun unraveling. Earlier this year, NASA awarded its lunar lander contract to SpaceX, leaving Blue Origin in the lurch. 
It is now suing the US government to reconsider the award. It's seen an exodus of top engineering talent following the lost contract, which has already exacerbated its already considerable delays. Blue Origin has struggled to hit its stride, producing its powerful BE-4 rocket engine. As a result, the maiden launch of ULA's Vulcan rocket has slipped to late 2022. This will make the first flight of the engine a full five years behind schedule. Meanwhile, the first flight of the company's fabled new Glenn rocket, a heavy launch vehicle capable of hoisting nearly 100,000 pounds into low Earth orbit, has already been pushed to late 2022 at the earliest. It was originally meant to fly for the first time last year. Bezos didn't even get the glory of being the first billionaire to ride his rocket into space. Just two weeks before Bezos flew to the edge of space this summer, Richard Branson completed a suborbital flight in his space plane with Virgin Galactic. SpaceX has launched multiple crewed missions to orbit, as well as successfully launching the world's first all-civilian Earth orbiting mission, Inspiration4, where they spent three days in space. And it's moving fast towards its goal of developing a heavy launch vehicle to send NASA astronauts back to the moon in 2024. In contrast, Blue Origin launched civilians into space with the famed actor William Shatner on board on October 13th for 3 minutes and 30 seconds before returning to Earth. Compared with SpaceX's Inspiration4 mission that lasted 3 days, the lead is quite clear between the two companies. The only certain thing is Bezos will never have his colonies in space if he can't build the rockets to get there. And that may be a problem that no amount of money can fix. Speaking to Fox Business on Varney & Co. on Wednesday 13th October, theoretical physicist Michio Kaku confidently remarked that SpaceX was the leader in the battle of the billionaires. They've been around Earth several times. They go to the space station. The last launch that they had had even gone past the Hubble telescope. That's how far it went into outer space. Also, Elon Musk is selling tickets to go to the moon and a Japanese billionaire bought all the tickets for the first flight to the moon, Kaku said. Only the company founded by Elon Musk nearly two decades ago has sent a rocket booster into orbit and landed it safely again. Only SpaceX has landed a rocket the size of a 15-story building on a drone ship in the middle of the ocean. Only SpaceX has carried both NASA astronauts and private civilians to the International Space Station. Only SpaceX is producing thousands of its table-sized communication satellites every year. SpaceX's total dominance of the rocket industry is not what you would expect. That's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you watch the latest videos like this one, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. Thank you so much for your support. Until next time.